If you're looking forward to playing Neverwinter's Mod 20 New Sharndar on a PlayStation or Xbox this week, <coughs> or hopefully this week, barring any technical difficulties, I have a couple tips for you that you should find useful. I also have other Neverwinter tips you might find helpful, especially if you're new to Neverwinter. You can click on the link at the end of this video or down below in the video description. Be sure to stop that like button as we get started. So this is Neverwinter Mod 20, console players rush for the AD. Info. If you don't have a lot of time for the Neverwinter campaign grind, or are still interested in the other campaigns, or whatever, something I found with this campaign is this. Personally, I think the weekly campaign cap is pretty easy to hit at 100 Iron Curios. Show you this here. So there, the weekly haul is 100. And I've been running three characters through it, but not all of you have that kind of time. And what I found is that you can run the weekly quests and dailies that you get, and you can turn them in until you're maxed out for your weekly amount. The thing here is, you could get more of these Bastion Order plants after you reach the weekly cap, and you can use those to go to the campaign store, and you could buy some of these upgraded items with a higher item level than you currently have. But if you really don't care about these, and are just moving through the quest, what you want to do is finish up your weekly cap, or get your 100 Iron Curios. And once you have all 100, the thing I found was, you reach the cap, and you can pick up more quests, if you have some extra time, but when you do after you've reached the cap, it will only end up giving you, I didn't get this on video, but what happened was it was only giving me the, the curios were gone, and it only gave me the option to get the 20 Bastion Order plans, but if you hold those and don't turn them in, then the following week it just kind of rolls over, and then it adds the five iron curios back in. I hope that makes sense. So last week I met the cap, so I'm just clarifying this in case it doesn't make sense. I got the weekly cap last week. I got all 100. I was doing some other gameplay and other farming in New Sharndar. And I picked up some of these daily quests again. And when I did, the Iron Curios were gone. And it only gave me as a reward for running the quest, the Bastion of Water Plans. But because I didn't turn it in, we're now into a new week. And the Iron Curios are back. So I can complete the quest. So if you have some extra time as you're managing your way through the campaign. It's just kind of a nice way to carry those over. Don't turn them in. Then on the following week, it will go into your weekly haul. So if you know you're not going to be able to play the following week quite as much, you can kind of work ahead on it. Another thing you want to do is pull your Neverwinter's farming efforts away from whatever else you're doing and hit as many of the big heroic encounters and small heroic encounters you can get your character into because they'll give you shattered diamond shards which you can then turn around and sell for astral diamonds on the auction house. They can be used to create new gear transmutes, new diamond artifact sets, or blood diamond. And if the console auction house works the same as the PC, these shattered diamond shards should get you lots and lots of AD. In fact, the prices were more than triple for the first two to three weeks on the PC compared to what they're getting right now. So now that more players are working the campaigns and gathering the scattered diamond shards, the prices have plummeted. So get in there and get as many as you can as fast as you can so you can get the most profit out of getting them before other players flood the market. And if you didn't catch my video about it, you also have a new seal currency. I'll go to the seal trader here to show you that real quick. Your new currency is called the seal of the wild. And you can use those to buy some nice 1300 item level items. Give you a quick look at some of that stuff. I also have that in a other video I did about this. Hillbilly Trollope, one of my regular viewers, had asked about exchanging the old Sharndar currency for some of the new mod 20 Sharndar currency. You can go to the Antiquity Scholar and tab all the way over across the top to Old Sharndar, and you can exchange your old Sharndar currency for these uh, Bastion Odur plans or Astral Diamond, depending on what you have in currency from Old Sharndar. Hillbilly wanted to know if the new currency could be exchanged at your Stronghold Coffer, and the answer is yes. And these Odur plans, of course, then can be used to buy items back over in the new Mod 20 Sharndar campaign store. This really is a relatively short campaign, at least the first part of this is. The new Vault of Stars dungeon is pretty brutal. And they're still making a bunch of tweaks to the artifact weapon sets, and really a lot of artifacts. So definitely be cautious, or don't jump in there and start buying a bunch of gear and equipment to try to balance out your character until these changes are done, because you may be very sorry. It's knowledge for the future. 
If you didn't know this already, as our Neverwinter console brothers and sisters begin mod 20 new Sharandar. Have fun and welcome.